I'm going to turn things over to meteorologist Jeff Ray because it's been kind of the perfect fall day today. Pretty much a perfect day. Just think yesterday was the biggest rain in the Metroplex since mid-July and then the very following day absolutely gorgeous out there as we looked across Fort Worth. You see how clear the skies are and temperatures, these temperatures dropping into the low 60s as we cross the evening. Just put on a jacket and head outside. It's a lovely evening after it's been a gorgeous day. Now tomorrow we're going to have some rain chances, some storm chances. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s. That's going to be pleasant enough, but we do have a 40% chance of rain and thunderstorms. Most of this activity tomorrow will be in our western counties. Better chance on Friday that it's over all of North Texas. At least we run the risk, especially in the afternoon and evening of some thunderstorms. Some of this could be strong. These storms could be producing some damaging winds even, maybe some small hail, but but they're probably going to have the highest threat of flooding rain. That is going to be Friday. That's why we have a weather alert day. We need you to stay weather aware on Friday and on Saturday we're going to have temperatures in 20. So this is a time lapse showing the sun setting. Yeah, not quite yet. 532 it gets below horizon and uh, let you know we're into a weather alert as we get into Friday and it's because of these thunderstorms coming in. That's how we're going to end the work week. Let's talk about it. Okay, so tomorrow we'll the clouds are already being placed when you wake up tomorrow morning. They're going to come in overnight. And like I said, there's a 35 corridor, and we're talking about most of this activity on the western half. So this goes on for most of the morning, most of the afternoon. And as this low pressure system gets closer and closer, the storm chances get higher. So as we get into Thursday night, storms around, but the better coverage in Friday morning, here comes the front. So First in our western counties and then comes a line of thunderstorms we think in the afternoon. This is the higher storm chances by afternoon and evening. Again, this is Friday, our weather alert day. As we get towards game time for Friday night football, look at this right now. The timing has it right over the Metroplex. So be aware of that. Be prepared for that. If you're heading out for Friday night football or evening events, as we go into the weekend, this should clear out. Now, as far as the severe weather risk, I'm not overly concerned, especially to Tomorrow, there's a flooding threat with this and maybe some large hail out in our western counties. Notice the marginal risk as well on Friday, but it includes the Metroplex. Again, small hail damaging winds are a little bit of a threat, but there's going to be a lot of rain with this. Yeah, I know we just had a big rain. There's going to be a big rain again late Friday, Friday night and into early Saturday before all that sweeps away. By the way, real quick. A major hurricane again, fifth one of the season, went right over Cuba today. It's forecast to get in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico as a Category 2 hurricane by the end of this week and then literally just kind of sit here and lose its strength. Needless to say, we're very worried about it. We're going to keep an eye on it. When they stall out like that, they just are so unpredictable. So anyway, that's after the weekend. As you can see, we go into the weekend, things looking pretty good. We get into Monday and Tuesday. We're actually talking about an 80 degree day, but Veterans Day looking great. Wonderful, Jeff. Thanks very much.